Got him. This one, this one really fought me. I'll just say that. It wasn't supposed to be that messy. It wasn't supposed to be that many holes in them. It wasn't supposed to do all those bad things. Uh, of course, before I go, I got to get all those meatlets off the ground. But I'm going to just get them back on the pole here. And uh, make sure my pole's nice and clean. So again, get the least amount of stuff on them as possible. I'll have a look at them and uh, try not to get that into the. Ooh, a whole bunch of meat schools on there. Erg. Yeah, I just gotta put them down on that. So he's starting to freeze up on me. Get all that stuff off of them. I'm just gonna go over them with the knife a little bit. But that, look at how clean that is. So that one's pretty clean, but that one's really clean. That's that's not bad. That's not bad. Could have done a little better around there. Could have done a little better around there. Shouldn't have done that. And shouldn't have done that. And shouldn't have done that. So I got three cuts in them. <laughs> Why? Because I was impatient. And I tried to rush. And I tried to build Rome in a day. And I didn't let them thaw out properly. And that's what it cost me. Now that said, uh, sharp knife versus dull knife. That knife is still pretty sharp. But uh, I might not sharpen it up too much sooner until I get a little bit more practice uh, maybe I won't sharpen up quite as much uh, they do dull quick that that's one thing about them so uh, if you're you know you got a really sharp sharp knife usually this is the edge you want really sharp and then this edge uh, this edge here you usually don't want quite as sharp all right so I'm gonna get the Mitsuko pail out of here and get all this goop off my all right, I'm just going to do a quick and very, very light, just to take off the dirt. Who does that? Who does that? Drops them in the... Drops them in the... Uh... But that's nice clean. Very nice clean. Did a very nice job on that, except for the things we won't mention. But all that little dirt and everything like that, if you don't get that off there, they do... Uh, all that dirt there. They do uh, devalue for stuff like that, so uh, I would like to get that again. I mean, I'm yeah, just going to do that nice and gentle. Alrighty. And once it dries, like it'll dry on it, so. There we go. It's gonna that's the yeah that's uh the area like that i like how to get that off there it's getting a little too stiff but i would like to get that meat lid off there i don't know if i can i'm gonna try it i'm just going for bonus points there now so uh yeah that's just kind of just the way it's gonna roll because i'm pretty much done them so I really want that off there. Just kind of get, uh, get him in the right spot there. Like uh, his, uh, see, uh, you can see like uh, like the legs. Usually they open up a little bit more like that, so we can get right to the edge there. Okay, that's coming off. I got a, I got five minutes of daylight left. Literally, probably got about five minutes of daylight left. I'm gonna see if I can. Just make it just that much more presentable. Presentable. There's that chunk. There, see that chunk? Yeah, get off my you dirty. Get off my otter. Get off my otter. Okay. And it's almost too dark to do this. Uh, but the gentle touch. And and. I don't know if you could tell, see the, the camera's probably getting darker as I'm doing this. I don't know if you guys can even see. I mean, just like that. We'll call that acceptable. We'll call that acceptable. Now. And now for my next trick. I will board him tomorrow. I will freeze him for tonight. And he should freeze pretty good, so not too worried about that. And uh, 
<laughs> I gotta say though, he got his revenge on me a couple of times here. Okay, I got all my meatsicles picked up, so I won't attract as many animals. And uh, we'll get them out there in the light. Have a look at them. Not a perfect job, but pretty good. Yeah, not bad. Could have done better there though. But I mean, that's a pretty good otter. That's a that's a that's a well fleshed otter. That's you can see the tail's not too bad. Got all the worst stuff. And now, uh, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna turn them inside out. Shake off any more of that dirt. If you see any dirt, take it off. Oh, pinhole in them there. I don't know.